bored with your own four walls? Then join us as we discover unusual architecture in Europe. These five buildings will amaze and captivate you. Is it a fairy tale castle? No, this is an artist's vision. Hard to believe that it's located in the middle of Switzerland. For nearly 50 years, Bruno Weber worked on this ambience. He lived here with his wife Maria Anna until his passing in 2011. Märchen und Mythen hatten ganz sicher einen Einfluss. Wir lasen uns auch immer wieder vor, vor dem Einschlafen. Come on in and take a seat on the winged chairs in the dining room. Hier gibt es überall Wege und Durchgänge zum Entdecken. The upstairs bathroom recalls a cave with stalactites and colored mosaics. The Weber's twin daughters had lots of fun in the spacious bathtub. The bedrooms are equally playful. And on the top floor, the Room of Stars is a place for quiet contemplation. Bruno Weber's home and park encourages visitors to free their imagination. A fantasy house, our number five. At first glance, this looks like a construction site. In fact, it's a modern day mansion. 360 concrete tubes give protection from the sun while funneling in the light. The movable walls of glass are essential to the concept of this house in Paphos, Cyprus. For us, this space is very important. The connection between in and out is like in the summer period, which is eight months. It's going to be a place where you entertain, a place where you have exhibitions, a place that you dine, a place that you... It's like the living room. It's like you move the living room from inside to outside. A stream flows just outside the building's walls. In summer, it cools the air and the house itself through the open windows. The interplay of light and shade works optimally. Perched on a slope in the Polish Carpathians is what Robert Konieczny calls the Ark. His house does look a bit like a ship, and it also offers him refuge. If I to do a wall, a total wall, to do a plot, to do a wall, to do a wall, to do a wall, no przecież to kurwa wyglądałoby w ogóle kosmicznie. Dzięki takiemu rozwiązaniu wydaje się, jakby, jakbym był właścicielem całej tej góry, a Arka sprawia wrażenie, jakby po tych górach pływała. Nie ma żadnych granic, żadnego, żadne, żadne, żadnych granic pomiędzy moją działką a otoczeniem. The main entrance can be tipped up by remote control, so the house may be entered by means of a landing stage. It almost looks as if the Ark were merely calling at a port on the mountain slope. It's our number three. This building may not come across as anything special at first, but a closer look at the Mjösa Tower, about 100 kilometers north of Oslo, Norway, shows that it's made entirely of wood. At 85 meters tall, it's a milestone of architecture and the world's tallest wooden building. It's a symbol of uh, what is possible uh, to make in wood, uh, complicated buildings and also the high-rise buildings. And we had to reduce CO2 and this is 60% lower CO2 than in steel and concrete. Surprisingly, fire protection did not present any major problem. The thick wooden beams could withstand a blaze even longer than steel. Who would have thought? This XXL wooden skyscraper is in second place. And that brings us to first place, a house with elements of fun in Edinburgh, Scotland. Every room in it can be altered using movable wall panels. Architect Richard Murphy designed it for himself. On each of the five levels, hatches, sliding doors and other surprises are installed. I mean, one does things for different reasons. Sometimes you do them for functional reasons and sometimes you do them for a piece of fun. And this is more of a piece of fun so that when you're in the bedroom, you can talk to people down in the living room if you want to. Running up and down the stairs might get a bit exhausting for some, but no doubt it's a quirky, good-looking home. In 2016, the Royal Institute of British Architects even voted it House of the Year. <laughs>